Well, they've been hit by injuries. The Park Center girls basketball team enters the week with a 19-3 record. In this week's Sports Jam Spotlight, we meet Pirates standout junior Adalia McKenzie. It's hard to have a breakout season when you're already an established star. But Park Center junior Adalia McKenzie's managed to do it. McKenzie with that move and knocks it down. He's averaging about 32 points per game with a high of 49 and a pair of 42 point outings. I think it's mainly my mentality, just being strong mentally, but also my quick step. I think my first quick step is really what get defenders, but also just being aggressive. There's no doubt Adalia is physically gifted. There's also no questioning her work ethic. I think it's a combination. I mean, definitely she's got God-given ability, but you know, it's the hard work, it's the hunger that she has. She's got such a passion for the game. Um, you know, I've coached a lot of players, like like you mentioned, and uh, she is one of the hardest workers that I've ever coached in my years of you know being a head coach, an assistant coach, being a freshman coach, middle school coach. Uh, she's just a kid that she's got a, a go meter on her that doesn't quit. One of McKinsey's biggest weapons, her speed and stamina. It results in a lot of layups. We love to push the tempo. We love to push the ball. Um, I know especially I look for her every time when she's running, I just dish it to her because she's always running the court. To Frost, behind the back for McKinsey, the layup's good. There are times where I do get tired, but I just don't listen to my body. I just keep pushing. Another way that McKinsey piles up points, hitting the offensive glass hard. She seems to effortlessly beat opponents to rebounds on a regular basis. I love rebounding. I love just jumping really high, getting the boards. I just think rebounding is a very important part of the game. Add together fast break layups and putbacks along with an improved jump shot, and you can see why McKinsey's scoring totals are consistently high. She acknowledges her improvement this season. I do feel it because I did put in a lot of work this summer. Working on my game, my shooting, um, layups, rebounding, defense, passing, just working on my game all around. Such a quiet uh, score, and you know, it just sneaks up on you like, how in the world, you know, all of a sudden find out that she's got 49 points at the Spring Lake Park when we played at uh, the Target Center. I mean, it just, like you said, she, she just goes, I think, so hard, but yet she, she just does the little things that people don't really uh, understand how important it is to do. Ah yes, the Target Center performance. Adalia broke her own school record with that 49 point outburst against Spring Lake Park. Yeah, playing under the big lights, that was so fun and like <laughs> I really had fun, but also it was a redemption game because we lost to them last year. So I really had that Mamba mentality that game. For sure basketball takes up a lot of her time, but there are other things going on for Adalia. Homework for sure, <laughs> schoolwork. <laughs> but um, I like writing as well. I'm thinking about doing journalism in college. As for where she'll go for college, McKinsey's hoping to decide after the upcoming AAU season. She has some schools in mind. Minnesota, Iowa, talk to Illinois, DePaul, and Marquette. For the rest of this season, Adalia McKenzie knows opposing defenses will be geared to try to stop her. She doesn't exactly shy away from the pressure. McKenzie again. Boy, they cannot stop her. I think that's probably one of the most fun part because that challenges me and pushes me to keep working on my game so people cannot stop me. The Pirates host Blaine Wednesday and play at Totino Grace Friday. They lead the Northwest Suburban's West Division with a 9 and 1 mark. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.